hi everyone so I'm on vacation and just got here last night and didn't get a chance to do my self tanner video beforehand so I thought I'd do it now that I'm away so I apologize this is on my Blackberry so the quality may not be the best but um, I had purchased some self tanner recently and wanted to try it out before I did a review and tutorial on it with you guys but now I can reveal it so I have purchased the fake bake line their fake bake flawless sorry I can't talk um, and it is a luxurious golden bronze uh, spray-on tan. It is fantastic. I had been very dedicated to another self-tanner before and had just found out recently that it was discontinued, so that is why I have switched. And I'm so happy that I did. This happily comes off very nice and golden brown. There's no orange, no streaking. And the reason that I like this one, because Fake Bake does have a few different self-tanners, is that this is a an instant um, drying self-tanner. So there's not a lot of hours where you feel sticky afterwards or you're going to bed and you feel just gross and you have to worry about it getting on your sheets. This doesn't do it, it dries right away, so it's fantastic. So again, this is the box. Um, the other thing too is it's paraben free too, so less toxins, which is also a bonus. But I just wanted to show you what comes in the box and then I'm gonna do a quick tutorial, which is why I've got no makeup on right now. So of course you do get this box and it will come with instructions inside, but this is the self tanner itself that it comes in. So it's got a little bit of a spray applicator and you can see actually from the top of this that it's a little bit messy. A lot of the time the tanner seems to come out a little bit of the, the top. So just be careful that when you are applying it. Um, you will also get oops, uh, two gloves to put on your hands just to make sure that self-tanner doesn't get on your hands. Although I will show you how to actually tan your hands themselves so you're not having a line like, you know, a white hand and your brown arm. Um, but it is good because you do get a little mitt to apply the self-tanner. So you spray the tanner on this brown side, not the, the white. But depending on how much self-tanner you use, um, it will seep through the mitt, which is why I have the gloves um, afterwards so um, the tanner itself is really easy to apply it only takes a couple minutes and again it's not uh, it doesn't streak which is really nice and again it does come off in that brown color so a couple things about self tanning before you start number one you really want to exfoliate beforehand there's crazy thunderstorm here going on I don't know if you guys can hear but it's nuts um, anyway sorry so you want to exfoliate first before you get going um, just to wick off any dead skin cells that you may have it'll just give you a really nice smooth even tan you also want to make sure that if you need to shave your legs or arms or whatever make sure that you do all of that beforehand because otherwise if you shave afterwards you'll pull off a really thin layer of skin which is not what you want and I know a couple of people have asked how you get your face and your back I'll at least do my face today just to show you guys my back Thankfully, my husband normally does, but even with the mitt, you can really kind of get the back of your back anyway and kind of reach, so you can do it um, that way also. But of course, if you have someone to help you out, you can certainly do that. And then the only other thing I recommend is when you're putting self-tanner on, try and wear a tank top or something you don't really care about just in case it does get onto your clothing. Um, or if you're just having gotten out of the shower, you know, you can apply it then. I prefer to do it right before I go to bed that way be, you know you put on your tanner and then you can head to bed afterwards it's not too big of a deal um, and then you're all nice and tanned in the morning and you can shower again in the morning and just wick off any excess um, tanning lotion so I'm gonna put on my gloves because I'm gonna show you a little bit of how the actual tanner works so I'm putting on the purple gloves that it comes with and actually another thing I like about this tanner is it actually smells really good, surprisingly. Most of them sort of smell really stinky. This one doesn't. It smells like really, I don't know, kind of coconutty, which is what I like about it. Okay, so I've got my, my gloves on. So what I'm going to do is take the spray applicator and spray the mitt. And I spray it at least three times when you're getting the tops of your arms and so on. So what you want to do is just rub it in, just in a circular motion but you just want to get it all over your arms underneath get your armpits too <laughs> you can rub it all in on your shoulder and you can see right away that that portion of your arm gets dark right away so you'll be able to see where you've applied the self tanner which is nice you can spray more on your mitt and get the rest of the arm as well make sure you get your elbows you don't want to forget anything and again you just kind of rubbing it in best you can just in a sort of again circular motion but it does dry right away so I don't feel sticky or anything like that once I'm done applying it 
Now, for the face, because I'm only going to do one side right now, um, and I'm going to finish up myself while I'm off camera, but for the face, I thought I'd show it because a lot of people ask. Now, I've seen other people sort of pat their face with the tanner. I've seen people spray the tanner on their face directly, which is very brave of them because this does dry very quickly. Um, what I prefer to do, and it's not so glamorous way, is spray the mitt and I'm going to rub it all over my face um, and mess everything up. I find that because it's a cream, you just want to get it in as fast as you can. Um, it's a little bit into the hairline on your neck, everything else, just because, again, you want to make sure that it's not blotchy. So I'm going to, again, rub it in. So two sprays. So I put my hair back. Gosh, this is so glimmers. Get it in by your nose, over your ears. I always make my face all red from this. Oops. And you'll be able to feel from the sponge where the self tanner is hitting. But over your eyes, everything. You really want to make sure. I always find the glove moves around. That's why I'm holding it down. You always want to make sure you get it everywhere. And then from there you can get your chest and your neck. That actually is the one thing. If you have small hands like I do, the mitt does move around quite a bit, which is a bit of a pain. But I just kind of hold it. Okay, so that is my face and my arm. I'm going to have my lovely husband do the rest of me or my back anyway. I'm going to rub in the rest of my arms. But that is the Fake Bake uh, Flawless Tanner. I really highly recommend it. It's fantastic. Uh, your color will show up anywhere from uh, four to six hours afterwards, although you'll be able to see pretty instantly that you've got a little bit of color. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions and stay tuned for more tips.